Hi, if you stumbled upon this video and clicked on it, you must be curious about the new Turkish electric vehicle. So let's get to it. So let's start about the story a little bit. The story was a consortium of five companies started this group two years ago and called it TOGG. So in Turkish, it stands for something that literally translates into Turkish Automotive Investment or Entrepreneurship Group. Hence, TO, the Turkish word starts with a G, so GG. This is not the brand name, however. It's gonna change in about six months. Name, TBD, they will announce it in, I think, June 2020. So when we talk about the story, this project was intended to be a 100% Turkish project. So the CEO was brought in from Germany. He was one of the top executives back in the day, working for companies like Bosch, and he was named actually the top within the top 100 CEOs uh, within Germany. His name is Gurjan Karakash. So let's start with the design. This gorgeous design is by not by accident. It actually is a work that is done with the in-house team in collaboration with Pininfarina. So we're gonna get to the Pininfarina uh, piece a little bit later. The in-house team consists of six people led by Murat Günak, who's a designer working in companies such as Daimler Chrysler, Mercedes-Benz when it was before merging with Chrysler and also uh, his latest tenure was in Volkswagen. He was leading the, the design team of Volkswagen and he's responsible for a lot of different cars including the Mercedes-Benz C-Class which is pretty impressive. So he came down back to Turkey to kick off this project and they got extensive help from the design firm in Italy in Farina. So if you're asking this question, they're an iconic Italian design firm. They're known for their various cars, ending with the 2000 uh, model Maserati Quattroporte, which is an amazing car with a horrible, horrible gearbox, but that's another story. It sounds good, looks even better. Prin Farina also has a couple more additional classics like the 1920s Cisitalia, 60s Ferrari Daytona, which is really iconic if you ask me within the automotive world. So they took support from Primferina, who actually did a lot of extensive work in Turkey before, including the new air traffic control tower of the new Grand Istanbul Airport. Okay, so this is now tip of the iceberg. Let's get to the specs. We're gonna have two engine types, two trim levels. The first one will have a single engine mounted in the back of the vehicle, providing us with 200 horsepower. And the second one will be a, a true all-wheel drive dual motor version like a Tesla D, which will have two engines, one in the back, one in the front, generating 400 horsepower. These numbers are really rounded up because the additional, the full specs are not done yet, but we will know a lot more in the next six months or so. So these two trims will come across five different models. The first two models that they announced yesterday was the C SUV and the sedan. So when we looked at the SUV and the sedan, we're seeing that these are some pretty luxurious uh, models, inside and outside. So when you think about that, this is gonna be on the same level as a, as a GLE or an X5 on the SUV side. And for the, for the sedan, we can say that it will be equivalent to an E-Class or a 5 Series. The battery provides power for the engines to drive forward. And generally, we have a lot of EVs in the marketplace, including my two Teslas, that can produce from 300 to 550, almost 600 kilometers of range. The most important thing in an EV is the battery. These cars are actually rated at 500 kilometers. One impressive thing about that is they're gonna be charging under 30 minutes. So they're gonna be getting, this car is expected to hit the roads in 2022, which is gonna be a limited number of production, 5,000 to 7,500 units, which will 100% be geared towards the government vehicles in Turkey. So the cops will get some, the municipalities will get some, the government officers will get some. When we talk about mass production, we're looking into 2025, and the end goal for it to be is at 175,000 units from a single factory in Bursa. So when we think about these 175,000 units, only two models? No, we're gonna have additional three models to make it a full line. We are going to have a smaller SUV and a hatchback. As we know in Europe, in a market like Turkey, hatchback is critical. And then to top it all off, we're gonna have an MPV type vehicle for larger families. Pre-order and full spec details are still TBD. So this is what we have currently. There are a lot of buzz around it. There are a lot of ambiguities around it, but it's all in all, it's a great product. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's one thing I need, no pressure on this video because I do, I do videos in Turkish, so no need to subscribe. Just give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And please comment where you're watching this video from, which country is it from, and that would be great for me to see. Thank you so much, appreciate it.